Here in part 17 in the series, we'll continue with our author Kurt's War Diary collection, looking at an article he saved describing how the Battle of Yelnia progressed. I'll cover another combat report from the battle, written by a motorcycle messenger that was part of the SS Division Reich. Using a situational map, you'll gain perspective, and as usual, I'll add film footage to glue it all together. At the end of the video, I'll show a new war diary, which will be the focus of an exciting new series. So stick around, it's worth it. Der Angriff beginnt. Er begann zur befohlenen The attack began at the ordered time. At 915 hours, the companies moved into their jump off positions. Calm and collected, the formation's combat experience gained over the last few weeks showed as they advanced cautiously, spreading out evenly across the fields. The first line of enemy defenses was quickly overrun. Then, slowly, the massed firepower of the Soviet artillery forced the companies to dig in. As the hours pass, the intensity of the Soviet battery fire increases, but eventually the companies manage to pull themselves out of their foxholes, navigate their way through the hail of artillery, and push their way through the enemy's well-placed defensive positions towards their objectives, the heights. Bolshevik infantry gathers and then counterattacks, but a combination of the German light and heavy machine gun fire beats them back. Around dusk, reports from all the combat zones begin coming into divisional field headquarters, confirming that the objectives had all been seized. This map shows the positioning of German units around Yelnia from July 24th on during the battle. Our author Kurt, part of the 3rd Battalion, was situated on the right flank of the SS Motorcycle Battalion that we spoke about in Part 14 of this series. Now we'll go through a combat report describing a night engagement from the Otto Weidinger book, Division Das Reich. The report was written by the motorcycle messenger Helmut Gunther, SS Motorcycle Battalion Reich. From the radio receiver, I hear the deep voice of Lale Anderson, the Einst Lily Marlene. Man, you communications guys really have it good. At that moment, enemy heavy artillery guns thunder. And instinctively, I dive to the ground for cover. Still wearing the radio headset, I almost yanked the radio unit down on top of me. Quickly I take them off and then dive into my prepared foxhole. Peering out over the lip towards the battalion field headquarters, I can imagine that this is what the Russians are honing in on. Although it's the middle of the night, there's no need to sound the alarm, as a tremendous volley surely has brought the deepest sleeper to his senses. There's a deafening explosion and the radio truck, with all of its equipment, simply vanishes. Where it was parked, all that remains is a huge hole and a burning wreck. The crew that had gathered underneath it seemingly protected to sleep. All but one of them are dead. The squad leader, Richter, who is currently on duty working the radio, is gone. Lily Marlene was the last thing that he heard. Now he is simply gone, his pieces splattered all over the area. That's how easy someone can suddenly disappear.
Now I'm happy to introduce this sensational original war diary that we have my Patreon supporters to thank for. Our author Heinz handwrote this account while serving as a staff officer in the 71st Infantry Division, which was nicknamed the Lucky Division. He served in Regiment 194. His account covers from June 20th, 1941, two days before Operation Barbarossa began, until July 30th of that year. The diary is made up of 74 pages and includes that nice photograph of his beautiful wife. In this new multi-part series, we'll go through each day of his entries, and he didn't miss a single day, and we'll follow his unit's progress using these original situational maps. In addition, I'll add more detailed information about the 71st to give the story context, and include plenty of rare film footage and photographs. I'll also use entries from the official German High Command War Diary to help show how it all fits together. The 71st Infantry Division was in Army Group South and was part of the 4th Army Corps. Early on in the conflict, this division would play a surprisingly important role during the push towards Lemberg or Litzmannstadt to the Germans. But we'll get into that later. If you like material created using primary historical sources like this, please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Use the QR code to create a free account and check out the example exclusive footage. Patreon supporters get regular access to such footage. Thanks for watching.